I'm Amy, and this. Ah! <laughs> this is Bjork. <laughs> and today we are going to be showing you our home. Our story begins here. The magical, mystical, and pretty f***ing crazy town called Glastonbury. I landed in Glastonbury around this time last year, embarking on a brand new adventure in my new home, but my van broke down on the way, so here I have stayed. So rather than van life on the road, it's van life on the side of the road for me. Well, at least it has been for this past year. Cool, so let's go meet my broken down home. Jamie is a 1992 converted Mercedes Luton. She weighs three and a half tons and has a 2.9 litre engine. She was originally a furniture van but is now our beautiful home. I'd love to say I converted Jamie myself but I didn't. It was the previous, previous owners who did this amazing work. I found Jamie on eBay in 2018 and I paid six and a half thousand pounds for her. So let's see what she's all about. Welcome everyone to the inside of Dreamy. This is my fresh and grey water system. This one on the left is the fresh water with the pump. This one is the grey water with the hose, which is connected to the copper sink. There's a two hob gas stove here, which also has an oven. And behind this wall next to the oven is where the gas bottle lives. Also, I keep my rubbish bin hanging here normally, but it's too ugly for this video, so I removed it. There's another window above the oven, which opens out onto the porch. And my front door is where I hang my coats, my towels, and also my laundry bags, which is ideal because my towels get to dry next to the fire. And in this corner by the front door is my wood burning stove. Installing the wood burner is the only modification I've made to the van since moving in. The space before was just an area to hang things and extra storage, but now I use the shelves to keep fire making equipment and logs. The burner itself was handmade by Nikki, an amazingly talented metal worker here in Glastonbury, and it was made by upcycling an old gas bottle. Although I haven't quite finished the work, as it needs tiling around the fireboard, the fire works really well and has been keeping me nice and toasty. In this cupboard here is where I keep all my books. As you can see, it's a bit broken and I don't really have the biggest collection of books, but I really want to show you It is a box containing the feathers of my pet chicken. And she sadly passed away back in 2017, but now she comes along in her box on adventures with Bjork and I. And the rest of this huge storage cabinet is where I keep all my stuff. There are shelves and decent sized drawers and cupboards where I keep my clothes. And then there's a nice big surface for me to put things on. making my bed. 
I do not want to make my bed every single time I make a video because it's a pain in the ass to get up there and do that. But here is an image of my bed made. And now I'm going to demonstrate for you how I gracefully get into my messy bed every night. <laughs> And in the corner under the bed is this really cute little wardrobe. I love the design, how the door has been cut to fit perfectly around the natural wood pillars. There are so many amazing details just like this throughout the van. So this is where I keep half my clothes and then all my shoes live here at the bottom. And then behind the little staircase are my power outlets. This is just a 12 voltage system where I can charge using USBs and I can also power the fridge from here. But since filming this, I have just bought myself a 300 watt inverter so I can charge my laptop in the van now too. On the outside of the van, there's a hookup point, which is actually broken at the moment, which would be useful if I were ever going to take the van to a caravan park and hook up to the mains. So in the lounge, under the sofa, there are two extra storage spaces where I keep stuff that I basically never use. This is one, and then the other one is on this side, but I'm not going to show you because I don't want to mess up my cushion display. And hiding underneath, in this perfectly sized gap, is Bjork's bed. And right next to Bjork's bed is the switchboard. I only actually use three of these switches because I don't really know what the other ones do. The first one powers the light switches. Another one is for the USB point I just showed you as well as the water pump, and then the last one turns on the battery power display just here. There's loads of headroom in Dreamy. I'm a tall girl, I'm almost five foot 11. So this is an amazing van for tall people. This is my toilet. It's a standard chemical toilet, but I have actually never used it because I just don't like the idea of emptying it out all the time. Luckily though, I live down the road from Tesco, so I just used their loo instead. Hygienically placed on top of the loo is my fridge. It is electric and able to run on 12 volts, but my porch is the perfect fridge in the winter, so recently there's been no need to plug it in. And in case you were dying to know, these are the contents. I keep my backpack out here for easy access because it's what I use to go and fill my five litre water bottles up every day. It sits on top of the gas, which is a seven kilo butane bottle. And the hose here connects it to the oven on the other side. And finally, I want to show you around the cab. So I have just one relatively small leisure battery which is powered by a relatively big solar panel which is on the roof above the cab and I get by without using too many electrical appliances but going forward I could always put in a second battery for more power and because I don't drive the van around much literally all my power comes from the sun. My two favourite parts of the cab are this cool old school Mercedes steering wheel and also this random hand painted speaker on the floor. There's really not much going on up here in the cab. I don't spend any time here so I just use the space for storage and leave the dashboard grey and boring. However, this is where the spiders decided to live. I also keep this box here up at the front and it's got some useful stuff in it. I need that actually. Um, this, I don't know what that is. I think that's like a little chair, like a camping chair. Anyway, I've never opened that. Um, we've got some of this toilet fluid. Obviously haven't used any of that. Um, what's that? Some cleaner for the toilet as well. These are snow chains. 
um, fire extinguisher, which I've only just realized is in here, which is great because I needed one of those. There's another stereo which came with Dreamy, but I mean the stereo that's in there works anyway. The seat belt, the third seat belt. So Dreamy is um, should be able to have three people in here, but there's only two seat belts, so can only have one person driving with me. And of course, some handy screwdrivers. And we've come to the end of our van tour now. So, from my beloved kooky town, Glastonbury, Bjork and I are really grateful to you for watching our first van life video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much.